Twitter buzz boost. This Nigerian Twitter buzz boost that is that is always going on. Like Bonner Boy is slowly replacing Michael Jackson. I was like, how? The other one I want to talk about is hey, Big Brother Niger. This video, I just reverse from beginning to end of this video. Honestly, now the verse with them, I put the name, they made me the top, everything I just talked today. I think we put so much pressure on people. We just like looking for people's trouble. We don't like to mend our business. We're just so, as in, ah, probably girls that do wrongs or those that have boyfriends that do fraud and give them money or those that are dating rich guys that give them money or those that are sugar daddy. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sweet Terry. Hmm. Today I'm going to talk who oh, I just came here to talk. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to talk about this Twitter buzz boost. This Nigerian Twitter buzz boost that is like it's always going on. Like uh, there's this um post that was trending one time that once you open Twitter, somebody from an unhappy home will just come and welcome you. And I think that is the truth. Most Nigerians, eh, they are going through a lot, either family problem or personal problem, and they tend to bring it out on social media, and they just tend to insult people that have not done anything to them, and I find it quite annoying, very annoying. Like first of all, why are you going to be insulting somebody you don't know? Secondly, if that person was to be in your front, would you be able to say the same thing? Like, will you be able to insult the person with so much courage and men? Okay, there are some of these, like, will I say insults or... There are some of the things that they say that's actually quite um, understandable and relatable. Because there was one post that was trending one time. The guy was like, there's these sneakers, these white sneakers. He was like, these sneakers can go with anything. So somebody else now said, ah, you think, ah this sneaker is a quick dirty one. Then somebody replied and said, ah, Oh my, because of the two trick i was like reasoning it oh my, honestly it will not be dirty if you're not trekking imagine you um you're coming from your house into your car into the club or into any place and out it won't be that dirty so it was kind of understandable so there was this other picture that was trending about if this fake guy i don't know i don't know if he's sure i don't know but the fake guy he was out uh, he took the selfie and <laughs> somebody replied and was like just sneeze bro the, he, the picture looked like he wanted to sneeze and that's understandable but there are some things that some people do hmm, that is really really not like it doesn't make sense at all and the fact that people find it funny find the fact that as in okay i just came out and i said something i did not insult anybody and somebody would just come and insult me and say your your family is stupid your generation is mad is the mother that gave it to you that pity like why and people find it funny there are actually two posts i saw that actually made me like want to make this video the first one was where somebody said um um Bonner boy is slowly replacing michael jackson i was like how hey god <laughs> how please okay first of all Bonner boy is good like no doubt he's very very good and michael jackson on the other hand was very very good they don't even sing the same kind of music for Christ's sake. Um, Michael Jackson sings R and B. I think they say pop. So, uh, Bonner Boy sings Afro beats. They do not sing the same kind of music. So, how are you going to even say that Bonner Boy is? Uh, the post did not make sense to me at all. So I was like, how? Please say another thing. Like Bonner Boy is good, but which one is that he's slowly replacing me? How? So somebody else um now commented was like tell me another joke please because uh, to me it, it didn't make sense then somebody somebody that does not have home training that does not even have sense said um you will make it in life <laughs> meaning another joke is that the guy will make it in life and that's not the one that's spending me is the people that are screenshotting and laughing Okay, I saw it. The one was like, Oh, more this one straight bullet don't hit. I'm um, laugh out loud. Law emoji. Laugh. What is what is actually funny? I don't I don't know how it is funny. Like, how are you supposed to make a joke out of somebody's life, somebody's future for a very irrelevant issue? Like, tell me another joke, you make it in life, and people are laughing. Like, what is funny? 
what if he has actually what's it we don't even know now if the other guy is doing way better than the one that came here to say you make it in life you don't just go on social media and insult people that you have no idea about what they are doing or who they are like you don't just insult people anyhow it's very rude it is very very rude i know now i think there's a very thin line between being rude, um, being rude and being a savage so i think everybody now thinks everything is savage somebody's talking to you just insult the person and say ah savage law laughing at law. like it was really unnecessary and really stupid to me like tell me another joke you make it in life and people are laughing that is funny it wasn't funny to me and there's nothing funny about it because you don't even know the person and you're just laughing how is it funny how is um like um bonabo even replacing michael jackson is it true is it actually true <sighs> okay no <matter. laughs> so um the second tweet i the second post i saw was about um you know when these people that started so somebody now came on and was like youth please let us not forget um this 2023 election we should not focus all our energy on Big Brother. We should um, try to remember the elections, get our PVC. But I think it says something like we should not um, watch Big Brother or put so much in um, mind. Yes, he said we should not watch Big Brother. So one girl just came out and she was like, um, this is normal stuff now. Nobody could tell me what to do. The guy now replied, I was talking to people who have TV in their homes, not you. And people who started again, the they are laughing. Hey, this one not collect with the Like, do you, ah, there is a 75% probability that that girl has a TV in her house. So how is it now you're supposed to be funny? How is it even supposed to be an insult? Like, what are you trying to prove? What if she actually works in a TV store? Or she has like three TVs in her house? So, I mean, you can't just go online to insult people anyhow. If you want to insult somebody, I feel like it should be it should be direct. It should be based on what the person has said. You give it back. But you don't just go and, like, start insulting the person's parents or your sister is one that don't have sense or is your mother pretty for. It's very rude and very stupid of people to not be laughing because I don't find it funny. And honestly, if you sit down and ask yourself, it is not actually funny. And if you see this person on... Uh, if you see this person in real life, can you insult the person? That's my... Can you... So please, I feel like we should really check what we take into our minds and find funny and we should really like, we should really assess ourselves, honestly. We should try to be better people. You don't have to be rude to anybody. If the person talk anyhow, you leave and the person did not even, the person is not even with you physically. It's not like the person wants to even beat you. So please, um, it's really rude and annoying. I feel like Nigerians are just one kind set of people and everybody celebrates violence. Most people just celebrate rubbish. Like, you just really celebrate rubbish. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. It really, really pained me. Like, it pained me. These two posts, I've been seeing it a lot. But you see these two, it at least went free in my head. Like, what's funny? Like, is it funny? Then the second thing I want to talk about is people who reduce their age or like people who lie about their age generally some increase it some reduce it to me if you increase your age or reduce your age is a sign of lack of self-confidence you don't have self-esteem because you are not proud of where you are you wish to maybe you are 30 you then like you're 25 you wish you were 25 you find maybe you probably missed out on some parts of your life and you made some mistakes but you cannot correct it by lying about your age because your age is still going to be your age or some people tend to like increase their age because they feel like people won't um respect them um people won't appreciate them for who they are there's still no justification for that or more i feel like if you're proud of yourself and proud of who you are where you are and you believe that one day you're going to be better you will just like if you don't want to say your age just rest you don't have to lie somebody that is 20 she just as she's 25 as someone that is 32 say oh i'm, I'm 26 why I, I heard so many reasons some say if you like to guys if you're old you tend to reduce your age so that they will not say you're too old to be in the market some people say um if they are young they increase their age so that they'll be more respected oh, bro i will just tell you my age if i don't have to tell you i will rest so i feel like it's actually a sign um a sign 
of lack of self-confidence if you're happy in where you are if you're proud of yourself you will say your age anytime anywhere and be proud of who you are so check yourself please check yourself ahead the other one i want to talk about is hi big brother niger so the day the housemates um came i didn't watch it i didn't watch it i was just i went i was online i was seeing different comments ah this one not be housemates so they'll be house here but uh big brother go um big brother go trenches this year and i asked myself what do nigerians want is it that we are confused or we have a problem if we bring somebody i remember when we brought kid wire when kid wire was in the house we were like hey they don't go carry rich person go to the house i thought this show was supposed to be for everybody why is that it's only the rich you know when they went there um i forgot to say some people were like i've gone to dubai i've gone to this but i'm like all these people don't go to dubai then why did they come house now they're already rich or when they brought somebody like the poor rose we we're like ah this girl was already popular why did they bring her this time around they went to the trenches and we are still complaining like i'm like what do you want do you want the person to be rich or the person to be poor they brought from trenches wahala they bring rich person wahala so which one do people want they shall that one not to move me oh. everybody just did then there was not like oh this is the wig where i'm i think it has to be a maca see the wig where i'm we i even know the wig actually um i have a vendor that sells it before before now say so she sells it she sells it for 20k i think so uh then i see the wig where i'm where people are just talking say ah this one down so on my group chat so on my group chat somebody now came they were just talking about the thing say oh well, they really good trenches this year we um, were just talking say yeah, i hope this book will get content so somebody made a statement that made me angry ha this video i just the verse from beginning to end of this video honestly now the verse with them i put the nine they made me the talk everything i just talked today so the person was like um no mind now i think she was referring to her macam she was like no mind now she the wear 12k week come with 100 million like the statement i was like hey, hey, hey please is there any rule that if you're coming to the house your wish should be 3 million let me not see what i want to say because <laughs> is there any rule like that or oh, they say if you are not wearing quality wig you should not enter the house i mean is the house only for people that have quality wig so i tend to ask myself what do you people want to want based on doing this life okay i feel like people that are in the house are just normal people they could be me it's uh, are just normal people it could be me it could be you watching so imagine it is me now nah, as i am say they pick me say i just say okay let me just apply for this people that they not manage to pick me if i say okay let me go and borrow hair or borrow money and buy hair and enter house so that i will shine when i enter inside the house the person I borrow money from, and I'll be like, eh, she did live fake life, oh. she borrow money from me, oh. when I know this girl they live fake life, oh. or people that know me well, will be like, ah, ah. <laughs> when uh, this Terry say buy a week, she don't get six, it will show me die, say this girl borrow this week. You know, there will still be comments, if I come out from the house, I will still have to pay, or what do you people actually want somebody to do? If it's somebody like me, like, like I was saying, it could be random, any random person, and if it could be me, if I'm going to the house like this, like this, if for example i applied this year they not pick me i'm not even going to go with one week i don't even have one not to talk of two not to talk of 20k week so i wonder why people are really so i don't even know the language is i'm calling they could be normal person but we just expect so much we just we used to put pressure on people too much in this country too much pressure too much unnecessary pressure like i really don't know why some people um i can remember a celebrity that was complaining and she's not even the type of celebrity you know that there's some kind of celebrities that they'll be like you see me i don't repeat clothes i don't do this if the person repeats we say and mm -hmm, she have repeated after everything she said but a normal celebrity that is just posting you just see i don't think i was scrolling down one celebrity's page one time somebody just said why are you repeating this shoe she had worn it before hey God no human being she should not wear her shoe again because she's a celebrity like i think we put so much pressure on people we just like looking for people's trouble we don't like to mend our business but just so as an ah, we're very wicked wicked and confused i don't even know if we even know what you want you just want probably because you are angry you just want everybody to be angry it is very bad because how would you say she did wear 12k we come with 100 million like why you that said it how many weeks do you have 
So let's be honest, so you know, for successful people, like young successful ladies, maybe they don't have children and they're just working so hard. Apart from them, let me say business and working class. And if you're even working um, a work of 100k and you're the one paying your rent, paying your business, it's even hard for you to even buy a week of 80k. So most people that actually buy this stuff are probably girls that do runs or those that have boyfriends that do fraud and give them money or those that are dating rich guys that give them money or those that have sugar daddies because on a norms hey all this money is plenty if you want to really check it 200k for one hair and now want somebody to have 10 somebody that is not working ha. so i think we really put a lot of pressure on people which is not even our business and why she can't reach week somebody come on twitter talk some people give them back so like um, we should really check ourselves like you on your own evaluate yourself you not consign you don't put yourself in some of these people's shoes it's not easy yeah it's not easy so to start buzzwords if you are a monk please just stop it if you are the one that like, among people that has to go to services page to insult them it don't make sense and i feel like we should just watch what we say and just try to be the best version of ourselves and be confident in yourself don't gotta be lying about your age be yourself basically um that's what i have to say in this video it was just me coming here because i'm angry so i just want to say my mind and let people know that people should change change dear nigerian youth so i will see you guys in my next video please don't forget to subscribe bye